All right, so today we are going to work on the beds because uh, as I was looking, I don't really think there's anything to make other than the beds because, you know, I've got pretty much everything else that I needed. Uh, there will be one or two pieces that I need to make, but that's pretty much it. It's not like the Hocus Pocus house where I've got like a million things to make, but... Um, let me see, where do I need to start? Now, this is going to be Dorothy's bed, the four uh, corner posts for the bed. And this will be for Annie Ann and Uncle Henry's. You know, I think Dorothy's was a little more square. Annie Ann and Uncle Henry has more rounded posts. Now, these are not even close to looking the way they actually look in the movie. I mean, I'm just making generic little beds. Um, so I'm just going to kind of make them look like the movie. This house is not going to be like an exact perfect replica, but, uh, it's, it's going to be, you're going to definitely know whose house this is when it's done, but it's by no means a perfect replica. And, uh, let me see. One thing I need to do is grab the doll and determine how high the bed needs to be um all right i'm just going to guesstimate this i'm just going to say it needs to go about here but uh let me see now one thing i'm real bad about doing like if i want it to be three inches uh long or not three what am i doing six inches i want it six inches long and I know these squares are an inch a piece, so one, two, three, four, five, six, right there, six inches. And I can mark that, but let me show you what's wrong with that. All right, so there's six, and it don't look even there because you're not looking straight down on it, but where I'm looking from, that's even. But, uh, the problem I do is, like, if I cut that right there, and then I add these little pieces on the end, that's actually going to be past my 6 inch mark. See, 6 inches is here, where the line is, and now that's past the line, so that's actually longer than 6 inches. So I've got to always take in the idea that this part also needs to fit in the six inch mark because i want the whole bed including these posts to be within six inches so they need to be brought in so actually this piece needs to be a little shorter than six inches and i just need to figure out how wide these are uh, and then make my measurement because see i'm always i'm always doing that and they, even in real like furniture like real human size stuff i make i always i never think about stuff like that like if i want it six feet i never take in consideration those uh whatever is going on this end so it always messes you up when you want the whole thing to be six inches or six feet or whatever um but anyway i hope that makes sense but I just got to actually make that a little shorter so these can go on the ends. So I'm actually just going to lay that right there like that. And then put my mark right here. And then that's where I need to make it. Or you can actually, let me do this. So there's my six inch mark, and I want to, I could just lay those right here. Let me get this at a better angle. All right, so there's my little six inch piece. Lay those both right there, and then mark them. And then that took out that much of it, so. But I'll make sure that's a straight little line there. 
and that's really the size I need it to be. So anyways, I'm going to cut these parts out and get them put together. Alright, so before I go and cut that, that short, I'm going to just sort of look and see how long that's going to be for the character. Now, it's a little bit short. I don't think he's going to be that comfortable in this bed. But, let me see here. Yeah, see, he's a little short for it, but that's why I always made him six. Wait a minute. What did I make my Hocus Pocus beds? I'm going to have to get that bed back and look at it a minute. Alright, so I went and got the Hocus Pocus bed. And I'm going to sit that down right here. And let's look at how long that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So that's seven inches. That, I kind of crack myself up having to count those down with my fingers like I do. But, okay, so that's seven inches. And the boy lays there pretty good. So, um... I'm trying to decide, as far as the Dorothy house, the rooms are smaller, and if I take it down an inch, it's going to give the illusion of a bigger room, it won't look as crowded, um, and he, it ain't like we're going to actually lay the doll in it, so I mean, eh, for the look, I may just knock it down an inch like I was planning, but, um, if I was wanting to ever, if I ever thought I'd want the boys to lay in the bed, I would not like it with his feet hanging down there like that. But, you know, since he's not going to be displayed in it, I don't guess it really matters. I may just break down and do the six inches. Um, I think that'll be okay. Because I do want to try to make those rooms seem a little bit uh, bigger. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And I was thinking that this bed was six and a half long. I want to, instead of measuring with these, I'm going to grab a measuring stick real quick. Alright, so these squares are perfect. One inch apart, as you can see. And the bed is actually just a teensy bit smaller. But, um... But yeah, I'm just going to make my beds, I'm going to bring it all the way down to 6 inches and make it fit within that 6 inch mark. So that's what my plans are. And let me see, I'm kind of going to do this the same as my Hocus Pocus beds. I'm just going to, this little piece of wood is the same as this. And I'm just going to get those little pieces cut. And then through these four corner posts, I'm just going to drill a hole in those so that when I butt those up against there, I can put like a little nail going through it. Just like I did here. You can sort of see the little nails right there that's going in to that board. So that's the same construction I'm going to use to do these beds for Dorothy's, just like I did Hocus Pocus. If you want to go back and watch the Hocus Pocus uh, bed video, you can do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and put all these together, and then when I come back, we'll paint them. Alright, so let's see what I've done. I've took these corner posts, and I have drilled a hole in them. And, of course, you want to make sure they're pretty much in the same spot so that when the nail goes through, I've got it to where it'll go kind of in the middle of this board. And also, on, so I've got where the nails are going to go, but then on this side, well, no, wait, that's not the side. Let's see, there's the side. On this side of the boards, 
I've got a little pencil mark, which you can see that better there. And you just want to make sure they're lined up. And that little pencil mark will help me determine where to put my sideboard. So I want that sideboard to go right to the top of that line. See how I'm lining the top of this board to that line? I don't want to get it off. Like I don't want to have one higher than what this one's going to be. So you, making that little mark just helps you know where to put that. And then I can come on this end and line that one up. So you just always want to make a little mark where you know exactly where to glue the pieces together. And then, of course, that little hole through there. That's just, I pre-drill the hole just so when I hammer a nail in there or whatever, it won't, like, split that. And this is balsa wood. I don't know what kind of wood this is. It's a really hard wood. This is balsa wood, so the nail will go through that really easy. Actually, it'll go through so easily that I can push it through with my finger. But this is a really hard wood, and that's why I have to pre-drill my little holes in there. But, um, but you just want to mark it so you'll know you're getting them even. And I guess that's it for that. So I'll put these together. And then uh, the other thing I didn't measure was the headboard. I think I've made it three inches and then the sides are well including these pieces the sides will be six inches perfectly and then the headboard will be just a little over three like I didn't uh, in I didn't work these in within that three inches I just I'm just gonna let them be a little bit wider than whatever that three inch is. Okay, so I'm crazy. What I did on the Hocus Pocus beds is I did put stick pins in there, and I don't know how I did that because I'm having trouble getting those to go through. Like on these new beds, I can't get those little stick pins to want to go through there. They just keep wanting to bend. Because I was taking you know, the pin, trying to push it through with a thimble. And, you know, that's how I did it for the Hocus Pocus. I don't know why it's not wanting to work now. But I've got this little uh, kit that is like a picture hanging kit. It's got all these different picture hangers. And it's got these teeny tiny nails. These little brass nails. So that's what I'm using instead of the stick pins. So, just put that little nail down in there. And there's, you've got a little nail in there and that really, really helps hold that together better. And so I'll do that to each end, but I just don't know why my stick pins aren't working this time. I don't know if this piece of balsa wood is harder than the last piece or what the deal is, but I'm just so glad I had those little nails. Uh, and then in one of the next steps, it's not going to matter if there's a nail going through that or not. Alright, so let's see. Here's where I'm at now. I did actually cut these little pieces down. Because where it was like three whole inches across there, it just made it too wide. It actually made it wider than Annie Am and Uncle Henry's bed. And I didn't really like that. So I did chop it down a little bit. And so this is my two little beds that I've got now. I like having those little nails in there. That just kind of gives it a little detail. And I put a little wood glue in the corners I didn't nail, uh, like, this away like I did on the Hocus Pocus beds. Um, I just glued it there to hold these sides together. But I think that'll be strong enough because I'm going to 
go in and make like a little piece, cut out a little piece of this cardboard to lay in here like this. Um, and those pins, those little stick pins that I bent earlier, you could either bend that back in shape and use it again later, but you can also chop that off like when you're just wanting a little short piece to go in something to use. You can always use the little head of that pin to for like decorative nails or whatever later on. So I'm still going to keep those little bent bent ones. But uh so let me see. The the piece of wood that I used was one fourth by a half inch by thirty six inches. And that got me these two beds and then I had this much left over. So um, I'll probably even use that eventually on something, but one piece of that uh, balsa wood got me the two little beds, and that's of course not including these parts, but that got the frame of the bed done, and now I'm just going to cut out the little cardboard shape. Now with the Hocus Pocus beds, I did like a little rope bed, and I put the rope in there. But I'm not going to go that way with these beds because I think this is a little, uh, rope beds are a little bit, um, you know, before her time. So we've got a little more modern. And I thought about cutting out like some uh, slats to go in here, but I think I'm just going to do the cardboard because you're not going to see it once I get... Um, some uh, little bedding on there. You're not going to see the cardboard. And do you love how I measure? Instead of trying to just think and focus on what I'm doing, I just put a little mark where I wanted that to be. So, I'm just going to cut this. And measure it this way. Okay, let me make those little marks. I'm just going to do this. I think all I'm going to get done in this video uh, are the beds. Now, I've been trying to think about what to do with uh, the wallpaper. I could not find wallpaper. But I finally found something that's going to work that's not paper. But I'm not even going to talk about that or show that until the next video. Um, that'll be something we can do in the next one is the wallpaper. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out. And what, what else was I going to do? Um, there's something else I wanted to mention, but... This cardboard is kind of like a, it's just my little thin kind of cereal box type wood. For some reason that don't look square, but yeah, it's pretty square. Okay, so that should fit right in there, but I got to cut out the little corners before. I don't think my bed's square. Something's not square. What I'm going to do to get the corners cut out is just sit that on there, trace out the corner of the bed post, and then just snip those little corners out. And then that should fit right inside there. And it's not a perfect fit, but that's just something to lay my little mattress on later. So I'll do the top corners the same way. It ain't got to be pretty. I mean, again, I, I, I think I said, I don't know if I said it in this video or the last video, but I never get my cuts perfect. I mean, some people are probably really particular about how perfect 
things go together, but I'm just so crude. And uh, especially on something like this, because like I said, the blankets will cover this later. And then I can just glue that down and then that'll just make that little bed so much stronger. And that looks pretty good. I like that. So I'm going to do the same thing to Annie Am and Uncle Henry's bed. And paint them with some paint. Probably mixed. I probably won't mix it with Mod Podge. But I'm just going to paint them brown. I know Dorothy's bed is a really dark. Almost black. And then I just need to look at their bed. Because I can't remember what color theirs was. Okay. Alright. So this is what I've got. And this one is fine for Annie Am and Uncle Henry. I've put a little headboard up here just with a piece of um, foam board. Just real simple. Nothing fancy. And I've got it held together with a rubber band while the glue dries. But what is going on with this? What am I thinking? Sometimes I wonder, how do I even get through a day? I don't know what the heck this is. This absolutely is not what I wanted. And I'm thinking, why am I making a bed like this? Did I not look at the picture of her bed? This looks nothing like her bed. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I mean, that's going to have to be like my catchphrase. I need a t-shirt that says, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, that thing has to go. I looked at the picture again, which I'll post here. And, I mean, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? This bed can go for the Scooby-Doo house or my retro house later on. I mean, that is just so crazy that I'm just, I don't know where the idea in my little head came for that bed. So I've basically redone the bed. Basically the same thing, but the headboard and the footboard are different. Now also... Uh, it's made out of poster board, or not poster board, but uh, foam board, because I don't have any more wood. But the foam board will be fine. This looks like her bed. I mean, way closer than that. That, she don't have a headboard and footboard like this. She's got like some little, you know, a really low headboard that's just like a solid piece simple sort of what you see here this is much better i don't know where my brain was going with this one i have no idea but this makes me happy seeing this is much better so i'm going to cut a little piece of that board and put on here like i did this one and again that'll have to just go for another house but this is so so much better okay so the last thing for today is you know, in the beginning of the movie, she's running home from school, and she's carrying her little school books. So I got these three little books that I've actually glued together, but it's really still kind of cool because they still open up and have real pages. But um, what I'm going to do is just really easy. I bought this little black ribbon, and I took a little link off of this chain and I'm going to use that link as like a little buckle and I'm going to make this the little strap um, around the books so I'm just going to feed that through there just glue it down I've got to let it run down to the tip Now, I was going to just put the uh, ribbon around it, and then I thought, well, it needs a little more detail. So I thought to get the little buckle. And then I was looking through all my little mini things, trying to figure out what I could use as a buckle. And the only thing I could come up with was the this little chain link. I think that's going to work pretty good. So I probably want that to dry. Shit ain't even together. 
I need to make sure that's together and dries good before I try to wrap this around. So I don't know if that's glued good, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the books. And I guess I don't know where I want my buckle to be. I guess I want the buckle up here. Now, actually, I think we need a little uh, ring of the belt. I think it also needs to go around this away. So I'm going to glue one here before I do this one. Okay, so I actually went and got my super glue and my baking soda. Just the baking soda helps that super glue dry quicker. And I promise that is baking soda. That looks very suspicious sitting there in a spoon like that. But um, I've glued that little band around it this direction. And then I've glued, started this one with the buckle this away. And then I'm just going to bring it around and put it through that little loop. And then there's her little school books, and I'm probably going to uh, glue that down a little bit, just so it don't come undone. I'll go up and under where that's supposed to be. This is super glue gel. I don't like it as good as I do regular super glue but I'm gonna hold that make sure that stays in place but then over on this side where I've kind of made a mess with the super glue I can get rid of that just by getting it wet with a little water and then if that don't work I can put a little bit of uh, probably the Mod Podge will clear that up so I'll let this dry and then we'll check out the beds with the rest of the accessories that we've got so far. Alright, so here's that one little bed that I made but ended up not wanting to use. And like I said before, I can use that in a house later on. And one thing I'm noticing is it needs a headboard, but I can add that when I actually go to working it in where I want to use it. And then this one is the one I made for Annie Am and Uncle Henry. I think that turned out pretty good. Now, if you see in the movie, their bed posts are a little more fancy than this. But again, I'm not trying to be completely perfect and accurate. I just wanted something that sort of resembles, uh, you know, what's what you see. But I think this is pretty good. And plus, you don't really see their bed too good anyway. So I think that'll work fine. And then this is the little bed that I came up with for Dorothy. Now this one is kind of close to what hers looks like. I'm sure hers has some like uh, carvings in this, some sort of detail. But it's basically this shape and it's a dark wood. But I think that's going to look pretty good. I'm going to sit these in the house so that we can look at them. And here's those little books that I did. Uh, I think those turned out pretty cute. And then, of course, I can just lay those on her bed or on her little table that I'll make later. But that looks pretty good. I like how those turned out. So now we'll check out how this all fits in the house. All right. So first of all, we're going to look at Dorothy's room. And I, I first had this little table here sitting in here by her door. And it had this little mirror on the top which it needs some work done to it. But it had this, like a little vanity. But I didn't like that one. This other one here, 
it's got a broke leg well it ain't really broke it just come unglued i'm gonna have to work on some of this stuff but i like this one better for her room it's a little bit taller and i will sit her little picture there because whoops i'm having a little hard time i'm in a really uh strange strange position here trying not to block anything but uh she does have a picture on a table here and that table will have a little skirt around it later and there is a mirror hanging above it so i am going to take this and try to cut some of this away later and make the mirror that hangs on the wall here so i will use that piece from this table but this one's actually going to go in this room and become a sewing table for the sewing machine and that looks pretty cute sitting on that and then Dorothy's little bed just fits perfect right there along that wall and I could bring it over a little bit but this window it's kind of bugging me i think it does sort of come above her bed just a little bit it might could have went that away a little bit more but it's pretty close i'm not gonna worry about it but i can't wait to get her bedding started i don't know i won't be starting that anytime soon i'm just trying to get some of the bigger stuff out of the way so i'm not gonna worry about the bedding but i do have uh some fabric to make like the sheets so i'll work on that pretty soon and then here's her little books now when i put that super glue on there it kind of made a mess and i thought i could clean that up pretty good but i had a hard time with that so don't ruin your little books like i did with super glue because it just made a mess out of it and i kind of regret that but i've kind of got them looking okay but um there's her little school books, her little suitcase. I think we've pretty much got everything in Dorothy's room uh, other than getting the closet built and a few little things for the wall. Uh, now there is a little table that needs to go here that I'll have to make. Um, but other than that, I don't really think I need to make anything else for her room other than dress the bed. Um, and then I've got some cute little art there's a picture of a lady that goes here uh, and I finally found something that I love uh, for the wallpaper. I may do the wallpaper before, um, well, no, I guess I'll have to build the closet first because that'll have to be wallpapered also. But I was just thinking I kind of want wallpaper in the closet also. So I may go ahead and wallpaper these two walls so that when I put the closet in, you'll still see the wallpaper in there. And it'll be a lot easier to do that before I put them walls up. All right, so here's Annie Ann and Uncle Henry's bedroom. There's that little sewing table. This is going to be the rocking chair that sits by the bed. But as you can see, it looks like it's already been through a tornado. I'll have to glue all that back. I got that at a doll show. And only had to pay a dollar for it since it was in pieces. But it's a really nice little chair. It's very, very realistic very detailed i love that piece uh and as a matter of fact there's some more chairs that will be needed for the house and they're very detailed chairs and i'm probably going to try to buy those instead of make them there's a couple that i'm going to try to make but some of them are just way too fancy for me to try to make them myself now i'm sticking this hocus pocus bed back in here just because that's what i was kind of looking at when i was getting ideas and again, it looks bulky with this stuff, and it's a little bigger than the one, I think. Let me compare it to the size. But the new bed, well, I'll compare the size in a minute. But here's the new bed. It just looks way more right for this room. I mean, it's much smaller, and it just makes the room seem bigger. Here's the Hocus Pocus bed. Okay, so it is shorter, and I don't think it's as wide either. This one would actually fit down in that bed, so it is smaller, and I'm glad that I made it smaller because this house is a lot smaller. 
you know, the size of my Hocus Pocus house, I could actually fit inside that house. If I scrunched up in a ball, and I'm going to prove this in a video in the future, but that, that house is huge. I don't know if people realize how big that Hocus Pocus house is, but it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know why I made it so big, but that's why when I made Dorothy's, I knew I wanted it smaller, but yet still sort of the same scale. But um, this just looks so good. I'm, I just love how that looks. Um, and again, I'll have to make the bedding for this one. And it's looking really good. And of course, there's stuff I want to show in the kitchen. See, that's going to look cute sitting there once I get that fixed. But uh, that'll come in another video. And the kitchen, there's stuff I want to show in there so bad. But I'm just going to wait because that can just be for another video. But um, I, I just love how it's coming together. And hopefully the next Dorothy video will be doing the wallpaper and maybe the floors. Um, so I'll see you next time. And please like and subscribe uh, to keep up with this project. Thanks for watching. Thank you.